All right, Jermaine, take care. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? He's a real Jermaine. He's a real Jermaine? Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Pay-per-view is back. Come on, man. Y'all know who this is, man. It's the real trap. The Ooh. real trap. With two P's. T-R-A-P-P. -P. Okay. Op Opalaka's very own. There we go. From the tri -rail. There we go. From the tri -rail. The Opalaka tri -rail. From the tri -rail. We took the same tri -rail, man. Goddamn right. <laughs> That's why we connect like that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? My favorite reporter. That's right. Yeah, I ain't saying that because you behind the camera. Yeah. I love you. Thank you. I love you too, John. Yeah, I know you love me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not fuck on me. I don't give a damn. I believe in me, you know what I'm saying? When you, fight, when you fight again, man, you know? Whenever I fight again. Yeah. When they fight again, y'all tune in. You know what I'm saying? When, when I fight again, I'm going to let y'all know. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let y'all know. Stay patient. Yeah. Good things, you know, it, it, it's just not out there. Good things like, come to those who wait. There you go. Stay patient. But me, for me, I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> Good things come to those who go. There you go. that we've been working on with him is he has excellent speed 
and that speed generates a lot of power for his weight but his frame generates a lot of power one of the things that we're working on as he matures is to use that speed to stun and then slow it down a little bit and use that power to finish some of the guys he hits them with five six combinations so fast but i think they only they survive but we fought some heavier guys that, you know also not guys in his way but the only reason why they survive is because they're getting that sort of flash, flash, flash. Yeah, yeah. And they're able to just sort of kind of either tie up or get away. And the, with that. And the punches are coming at the same speed, so yeah. now you're working on varying yeah. the speed of the yeah. shots. Right, so like up here in the, la in the last couple of rounds that we did on the mids up there, one of the things we worked on, like in this combination where I wanted him going to grab right hand, lead hand uppercut. I wanted all that speed. Bah, bah, bah. And Drag for half a second, see where you're gonna turn the trajectory of the shot, and then boom, step in with his back foot to finish. You know, so that's one of the things that we've been working on now. He's got speed and power that is exceptional, but it just needs to be like you know, sometimes you're so fast mm -hmm. that you end up pulling off the punch a little bit because you're using so much speed. So now I want him to sort of, he's been doing really good at it lately. He's been yeah. doing really good where he's starting to, even in this point, he's starting to realize that he's like, bah, bah. boom, boom. He's punching through the targets now. He's, yeah. not, he's not punching at the target, he's punching through the target. Yeah, yeah. So now it's, you know, but he's coming, he's baby, 20 years old. Yeah. It's phenomenal. I keep process. forgetting that he's 20 years old. Now I know he's 20 years old. And, and we've been behind because of the pandemic and whatnot. Otherwise, he'd probably be 14, 15 and all. But I'm, I, I have no reason to rush him. Yeah. I'm not looking to rush anything with him. He's, he's got a long, God willing, a long, illustrious career in front of him. And I'm not not looking to get there. I know it takes, you know. Yeah, it takes time. Man. Well, it does. Some people just want to get there. You know, it comes about just the money chase, the paper chase. I want to get there. I want to get there. And you're cutting the development short. When he gets there, he's going to stay there. Trust me. So, so you think you he, what I'm saying? Like, how, how far do you think he could go? Is he the kind of fighter you think could be a multiple several, division, several, division several champion? Classes. 22, 26, and 30, he'll, he'll be a problem at those three ways for sure. You okay. know, once you get to 35, I don't know. You know what I mean? Will, will he, at that point, how old will he be in the career? Yeah, be yeah. that, you know, I'm in bulky, you know. But at 22, 26, and 30, yeah, it'll be a problem. Absolutely. Your problem. Size, frame, speed, you know what I mean? But it's more just accuracy. He's getting better with his accuracy. He's getting better with the body shots. But he was always good to the head. But now he's mixing how about, up. How about defensively? Yeah, there's a, listen, head movement and angle is good. There's a few things that we need to also adjust to that. And we're, we're doing that now. Where, you know, at times when you get a fighter who's as slick as he is, sometimes they'll take a punch or two. It doesn't bother him. He's got a good chin, too. So sometimes it doesn't bother him, but I, from a coaching standpoint, want him to take back it. Like, want him to sometimes make that extra step, like slip, slip, and then touch off. Oh, why, why we need to get touched? Slip, slip, and push off the front foot, get the half step. Make him fall short. Sure. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. get him hit at all. Take him off, use his hand, you know. So every fighter, I don't care. Every trainer, no matter whether they got a multi-level champion or a high prospect, there's always something to work on. Yeah. So, with me, the two things that I, that with him, that I like to work on now, again, is just, like, the placement, the speed change. And again, realizing even as good as, as slick as he is, sometimes we give stuff up we don't have to give. So, it's just kind of like, you know, all right, let's take less. We don't need that. Even though a lot of times... He's taking just barely, like, end the punches because he's trying to set you up, you know, it's for an attack. But, you know, I'd like to sort of close the gap on that a little bit and, and take less. You know? Okay. D does he remind you of any fighters from the past, Trap? Any, you know, any names that come back to mind? Anybody he reminds you of? Not really. I mean, he's got, like... When you think about it, like certain, there's certain moves that he does that are a little bit like Arguello. Okay, at like time, at times, like if you look at young Arguello, he has a lot of like sometimes Arguello would come right over like that. He has a lot of ability to do that. Um, you know, just off the top of my head, those are the kind of things that you know I think about. Like I said, he has speed that's better than most, so especially when he decides to attack. Um, then you got to work on, you know, your edges strategies and different things like that. You know, he's strapped. 
He's chap. He's different. He's one of a kind. He's one of a kind. He's, he's him. I, I've, I've had a lot of good fighters, and, and it doesn't take apart from anything. I mean, he's definitely one of my top prospects now. Just for, if, if there's a bright future. He keep listening. I like the fact that he asks questions too sometimes and doesn't get into that. He's coachable. Yeah, doesn't get into that. I'm already that good. We know all the prospects. There's a, South Florida has a lot of prospects. Oh my God. They're good. We know that. Xander, but, Marcel you know, Volatier. Yeah, yeah, there's all kinds of guys. You got BT Newton, you mm -hmm. got, you know, a couple of my guys. I got Castro, I got Trap, I got, you know, a lot of, a lot of younger guys, you know. Um, that are coming up, you know, Jonas is out there. You, you, you get yeah. and then down south, there's a bunch of young, you know, guys. All those guys, all those gyms down south, you know, credit to all of them. Yeah, yeah. They're all bringing up very good possible prospects, you know. But um, my thing is just, you know, like I said, they all got Moto, Ahmed, uh, you know, um, uh, Herman's down there. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you, you know, Pedro was. A lot of times more with, with veteran guys, but you got, you know, Pedro and Kale Peter Fitness. Peter Roque. Yeah, Peter Roque's got his guys, Kale Fitness. So there's an abundance of talent in South Florida, you know, that's for sure. Um, so, you know, as these guys come up, you know, you just look to close that gap and show you things. But I'm very happy with the crew of guys that I got. I now have two other kids, too. That one of the amateur ones going to be debuting as a pro, the Tudor brothers. The Tudors, yeah, very, very talented fighters. Very and good. They listen. The one thing I noticed, I've only been working with them for now going on three weeks. Mm -hmm. And they listen and they're starting to ask me questions. And I'm starting to see, they're starting to sort of get out of that mentality of the one punch and the counter, because they're very precise, very precise. I know, yeah, yeah. But I want combinations, you know, and so now they're starting to understand. We're learning each other, you know, and that takes time, you know, uh, but it also takes trust. You know, that, that thing between the fighter and coach, it's Either very you important. got it or you don't got it. Yeah. Some some fighters are out there winning and they don't have that with their coach, but they're winning kind of like based on their talent more, you know. And eventually those cracks start to get bigger. You know? Especially when you start stepping up to that elite level. Yeah. yeah. So I make sure you know. I'm like that with my veteran guys. The same way I'm like that with the young guys. You know, I try to pay attention to both of them and make sure that I talk to them a lot. And you know, is there something you're not understanding? Because they. I have one today who told me, I need you to show me this. I know what you're telling me, but I'm not really getting it. And I get it. Sometimes with a guy you showed on a video, sometimes you can explain it to him and he, right away he knows it. Sometimes you have to tell him three or four times and then you're like, right there, stop. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I wanted. You gotta oh, be hands on. I got it. Yeah. I, I don't know any other way. Yeah. I wouldn't want it any other way. I don't want to be that guy who's got every, everybody else doing the work and I'm sitting over there just showing yeah. up at the fight, you know, over the last two weeks. The fight's not really my way of doing things. It's not really something I care. It doesn't matter how many accolades I may get or experience. Yeah, it's yeah. never going to be me. I'm ground floor all the way up. Baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just it. So, you know. What? But there's a lot of guys around here that talented. Yeah. 